membuat teknik-teknik latihan di bawah jurulatih dan pergara. Yeah, for the purpose of the Borneo Cup, I mean, uh, we started two weeks ago, and uh, ever since we've been working very, very, very hard, and uh, we've been putting the emphasis uh, on technique and skill, and uh, and obviously on the fitness. Now, as you can see, we are working this morning again, but um, this is uh, <clears throat> after the second week. Earlier on, we've been going, uh, doing the plenty of running to get the heart prepared and the lungs for bigger efforts. And we've been using um, interval training for that purpose, as well as the assault course, um, which we're going to see in a, in a few minutes. Um, on the technique and, uh, and fitness side of the game, and, and skill, um, we are using this circuit, which I got uh, the idea from the Polish side from World Cups 1978 and so on. And uh, it is, as you will see in a minute, uh, a very complete circuit because it includes skill, includes speed, includes stamina, um, includes coordination, includes ev every single quality of the condition is included there. So if we start, <clears throat> you go in there, abdominal exercises. There is a good phrase that says that um, Philippe Tizier, a French fellow, said that uh, you walk with your legs, you run with your heart and your lungs, you resist with your stomach, and you get there with your brain. So that's one of the, that's applicable to football. The next one is for shooting, it's dribbling, that uh, chap is not doing it quite as quick as he should have done. Uh, the other one is passing long passes, as you can see, kicking a straight ball, only using one touch, all skill included. Over there, you can see them, them two is doing a sprinting. All right, they should have been doing. Then the next one, the dots do there was a crossing with the ball. All right, there, that's an uh, excellent coordination exercise because they, means awareness on the on, when you're playing football you don't only look at the ball you look at the ball and you look at the man around you or you're looking at the ball and with the back of your eye you're looking at shadows going around you otherwise you never know who are you going to play the ball to or is somebody challenging you and so on so that's the purpose for that exercise the next one is crossing balls into space as you will see in a few minutes in, in a minute and um, the idea is to use the space in front of the attacker rather than play the ball to the attacker if you miss the, the crossing and the ball instead of coming in front of you to hit a goal, the ball comes in there, you've got to go back to then come back in. So we're trying to encourage that ball into space so we don't stop. We come into the run and we hit it to goal. Uh, the other one is uh, skill, just keeping the ball up, which is um, a, good, a good exercise. In between hard exercises, then we use a skill one. That, the purpose of that is that in, during the game, you've got to run, you've got to check, you've got to go. And then at some time, the ball come to you. You don't have time to uh, have a rest. So we get the custom, the habit, that if we are a bit tired, we can still keep the ball up and keep the skill going. So to perform the skill under stress, that's what you call it. Then the next one is, uh, is speed, it's called is, uh, coordination and ability, all right, on the, just by going around the cones. The next one is very, very similar and includes uh, sprinting includes uh, running with the ball and all that is exactly what's happening during the game. Finally we got in here a bit of heading and uh, that's as well very very important skill in the game. I mean nowadays if you can't hit a ball then you, you are a little bit restricted. I'm not saying that the, if you can't hit the ball you cannot play football but uh, if you cannot hit a ball you'll never be a complete and great player. Finally, I would like to say that the boys have been reacting to this training uh, absolutely magnificent and uh, their attitude, their approach has been 10 points, first class. Uh, they have adapted themselves together with the Armed Forces boys in, in, uh, in a very good manner. And they are absolutely determined, together with myself, with Dan, with Nyanta Jurin and Rosli, determined to have a good go and give Brunei a little bit of pleasure. Um, Last Saturday, the people that went to the stadium, I hope they saw the match against the armed forces, which we, all right, we lost, unfortunately, but uh, I hope they enjoy that game. I certainly, it certainly gave me a lot of hope. And to reward these boys with all the effort and all the hard work that they've been putting on, together with ourselves, uh, I hope, I sincerely hope that we can lift that cup for the public of Brunei.
And then, uh, God knows, let's see what happens.